what's going on pisces and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right my loves so this is going to be your march reading happy birthday to all of you who have a birthday in march all right we're just pisces season period all right so what is going on with my pisces what is the energy for you guys march 2021 now, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces signs. And like I always say, guys, keep in mind that the energy could be transferable. So it could be your energy that I'm picking up on or the energy of someone or something around you. All right. Okay, Pisces, what is your energy? We have the Empress card. Beautiful. Two of Swords in the reverse. Let's get at least one more card here to start. Let's get one more card. What is going on? Energy in Piscesville right now. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, so the energy that we have here, guys, is the Page of Swords in the reverse. We have the Temperance card, King of Pentacles in the reverse, King of Swords in the reverse. Um, Pisces, I think you get to the point where you become very, very protective over yourselves. Because there's something where it was depleting you. Maybe you were losing money. Maybe you were overspending. Maybe you were not in genuinely invested in something or someone around you was not genuinely invested in something. So it's like your, your spirit just wasn't resonating with this. All right. I feel like you make the decision to have a new start and you're very protective over yourself. You choose to be very, you know, reserved about something. So why are these cards here? Why is this Empress here? We have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Why is this Two of Swords in the reverse? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And why is this Four of Pentacles in the reverse here? We have the Temperance card. Okay, guys. So you are completely depleted by something that you're not happy with. You don't like it. You don't want it. But you're stronger than whatever it is. And there is something that comes in that you guys are going to be celebrating at the same time that you're losing faith in something. Um, it's something that's very emotionally fulfilling for you, but it's like some sort of conflict may come to you or maybe around you because you choose to be selfish, because you choose to do what's best for you to protect yourself, um, even if it seems extreme the way you're protecting yourself, okay? So... Um, Again, it's like you make the decision that something is just depleting you. Something is, um, it's, it's just too much. You lost too much here. All right. Your soul is in a good place when you choose to protect yourself. And there's some sort of new offer, a new beginning where you guys feel very good about this. Okay. So let's see why this energy is coming up like this. And let's get into the past, present, and future. Okay. Past, present, and future for the sign of Pisces, March All right, three more cards, guys. One more card, or we can get the show on the road. All right, my loves. So the energy that we have here, eight of pentacles in the reverse, seven of, so uh, seven of pentacles in the reverse, and we have the eight of swords, okay? There's something that it just ceases to work out. It ceases to keep going. Um, there's definitely a sense of, you know, this was a waste of time and effort, and... In most cases, with the Eight of Swords, this is someone, like, being stuck, you know, leaving a blindfold on, okay? But you have the Nine of Swords in the reverse behind that. So what you're stuck on, Pisces, is freedom. You're stuck on a sense of not having to worry, not losing sleep at night, being strong and finding happiness in the way that, you know, seems more logical. 
So the thing that you guys can't get out of your head, the thing that you're stuck on is freedom. It is not worrying. All right. You don't want to put effort into something that doesn't make sense anymore. So looking at your past, guys, we have the wheel card, the king of swords and the five of pentacles. All right. So this could have to do with a Libra Aquarius or Gemini for some of you. But I feel like there's something that was rejected. There's some sort of fallout. Um, and I see this being a very good thing, actually. So why is this wheel card here? The fool card. And we have the page of swords. So, so this is something new. This is something exciting. This is something where you really think logically about bringing this in. Um, and it's like something comes to light where you realize that a certain path wasn't for you. Now, there could be a very strong Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy around you. But I feel like you're really just trying to stabilize yourself. You start something that has longevity tied to it while dropping something else that was an illusion. Okay. Why is this King of Swords here for your past? Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Wands. So there could have been an air sign energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or an earth energy around you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like you really make a very logical choice. I need to turn my back so I can expand. I need to be stable financially. I need to be stable mentally. Okay, so I'm going to do what I need to do to get that. Because there's something here where there's just too much manipulation. There's something I couldn't trust. There's something I no longer, you know, there's something I no longer accept. So I'm letting this thing go because me and someone or me and this thing, we're not seeing eye to eye. All right. So the rejection kicks in or, you know, someone feels left out in the cold. Um, also remember that this could have to do with money. Okay. Why is this five of pentacles here? Death card. So guys, this is a good thing because this ending is a rebirth. It's letting go of something that was very burdening. Um, and it's you going into a whole new life. You made the right call of letting something that was most likely very closely tied to you. Um, you know, you, you let it go into the past. For a lot of you, you're revisiting something that is unfinished business also. So it could be some sort of offer um, that you choose to accept where there's something from the past that may come in. Now, in the present moment, guys, we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. You know that there's a burden that has to be released, but someone's kind of like between a rock and a hard place. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Why is the Seven of Wands in the reverse? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So again, could have to do with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or maybe something that has to do with finances. And we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. You guys, again, you're still stuck on not having to worry, having strength, finding fulfillment and happiness. And it's like you guys realize what you need to do to get there. Okay. So there's something, I feel like it was kind of draining. So you, you let that thing go and it's like one step in front of the other as you start to build on something. All right. So why is this two of swords here? This is your center card. So this is going to be, um, you know, the main energy with everything in here ties to. Why is this two of swords here? Ace of pentacles. The star card. Okay. You want something really bad, but you're not putting effort into it. Okay. And you guys are sitting here and it's just like, look, there's something that I truly, truly desire. But you're on the fence of whether or not you should take a step. So I feel like a lot of you in the beginning, you're reluctant. And it's funny that it's reluctancy here because with the pentacle energy, that's something that you you would probably want in your life for a while. So maybe that's where the reluctancy come from, uh, comes from. All right. Um, it's like, you know if I can't get my heart broken, if I don't put myself out there, it's like that sort of thing. All right. So why is this ace of cups here in the reverse? This is your last card for the present moment. Page of wands. Ten of swords. Okay. An offer is there, but it's like you guys don't go into it because there could be a fear of betrayal. Maybe you feel like there's a betrayal there or you think about a betrayal being there. Why is this Ten of Swords here? 
Eight of Wands. Will this mess me up if I let it in? Will I be hurt? Will I be betrayed? Okay, will things not end well? Is this just another lesson? Am I going to get broken by this? Something from the past comes back in and you question whether or not you can trust it. Okay, um, I feel like for some of you, this may be something where you lost a lot in the past. All right, so what step is taken at this point? Moving into the future, there's the Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, Moon card in the reverse. All right, so this could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius for some of you, or just going into something where there's a lot of passion. Okay, why is this Queen of Wands here? Empress card in the reverse. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I know this is so random, but when I look closer, I feel like she kind of looks like Tiffany Haddish. Like if she had short hair. But anyways, um, so guys, there's something here where I feel it was something that could have been very exciting. It's something that could have been very, very fun. Um, but I don't think it's something that you you keep wanting to put energy into. It's not a, a plant or energy that you want to keep watering, okay? Um, so I think you find balance in realizing, look, I have different things coming in. I have different options, but this just wasn't the way for me. You know, either I was cheating someone or I was being cheated in a situation, okay? So there's something that it could have been exciting, but you choose to put it in the past because you know it's not the path for you, okay? So why is this Four of Wands here for your future? Temperance card in the reverse. And we have the Five of Wands, okay? Again, guys, there's a strong sense of wanting to find freedom, not wanting to, you know, be losing sleep at night. And and listening to where, listening to what our soul is truly telling us, okay? We know when something is right for us. We know when something's not right for us. And there's a path to stability. There's a path where it's very exciting and you, you really get to build on a very solid foundation. But there's something that your soul is not particularly uh, that tied to, okay? Um, and, and there's conflict that comes from this. Two of Cups in the reverse. Strength card. So you're being strong and you're dropping something that just doesn't serve you anymore. Okay. Um, I think that a lot of you revisit something that could be a very strong and passionate thing for you. But moving away from something that was an illusion might prove to be difficult. Okay. Um, so it's like you know what path you have to take, but there's some sort of bump in the road or... Um, Maybe you don't take something well or you don't handle it easily or maybe someone around you, it's like, you know, you're telling them, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to go to a different country. I'll talk to you, you know, whenever I get back in a few months. And they're like, no, 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 stay here. Don't go anywhere. You know, if you're you're there, call me every day. It's like, it, it could be that sort of thing. So it's just hard to completely move away from whatever this is. But there's something you kind of want to revisit. Okay. Lastly, we have the moon card in the reverse as the last card for the future. Why is this moon card in the reverse? Six of Pentacles. The Emperor. Okay. So there's clarity and it's like, yo, I'm over it. And Pisces, to be honest, uh, with whatever this is, whether this has to, you know, um, whether this is about love or not, Someone might feel cheated. Someone might feel like you manipulated a situation because you chose a path where you're not going to be in all this turmoil. You choose to do what's, you know, what's best for you and the greater good for everyone and what brings you balance because you've had this awakening. Um, but I feel like there's energies around you that is just like, look, if you don't accept my energy, if you don't want to keep having or experiencing the same energies, then, you know, that's wrong of you. How is it wrong for someone to want to do better? How is it wrong for someone to move towards energies that suit them? Okay. So I feel like if you get any backlash, it may not be because something's actually wrong. It may be because um, someone's just not happy with the path you're taking, even if it's one that's best for you. All right, guys. 
So let's get into the advice portion. How do we navigate through this? What advice does Spirit have for Pisces in March? If this is resonating with you guys so far, there is a link in the description below to donate. Thank you so much if you choose to do so. And you guys can follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 I am also on Twitter, Bruja Shit. Okay. All right, Pisces. Nine of Cups in the reverse. The World card. Chariot in the reverse. Empress card. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> um, a lot of you do have something from the past revisiting. You're going to be very excited about it. But the main message, guys, is that something that was way too burdening is not going to be built on anymore. Now, the reason why I laugh is because things might not go as expected in certain areas in life. Um, but it's spirit like forcing you to go into something that's going to be new and incredible and exciting. And spirit is saying, look, this is going to happen no matter what. Whether you're unhappy about a certain shift or someone around you is, it, it's like it's going to happen no matter what. But this is what you get out of it. So don't dwell on this too much. Okay. Five of Wands. It was something conflicting where there's fighting, arguing, pettiness. You just weren't happy in the spices. All right. You were not balanced. You felt conflicted. You didn't feel yourself. Okay. And inevitably that changes because of a very strong connection. It's like someone's bothered by something, but you recover and you start working on something that spirit was like, you know, you have to be patient for this. Why is this two of cups here? The devil card in the verse. Yeah, guys, there's going to be some sort of shift, some sort of energy that comes in where you can't control yourself, but it's going to be something very positive. Okay. It's something where you're, you're just over it. And it's like, you're over something. It's like the worst that could have happened in the situation has happened. And with the king of cups, you, you feel so powerful. You're on top of the world with this new direction. Start of something very powerful, lover's card. So this could be, you know, a soulmate, a lover that comes in. This could be a new job, but something that you just love. You're strongly tied to it. Lastly, why is this world card here? Nine of swords. And you're worried about this new chapter, okay? You're losing a lot of sleep over it, but you don't want to overthink this, guys. All right? You're letting go of something that was forced, something that may have been fun for the moment because something captures your heart, all right? Something captures your heart and you're going towards it no matter what, Pisces. And I see this being a very positive thing. So even if you try to fight it at first, it somehow manages to find a way into your life. All right, guys. So happy birthday again, my loves. This is definitely a very interesting reading. I wish you guys a happy birthday. And I will see you guys soon with some new readings. Take care.